Well, hello everyone. Uh, got a great video today. Uh, hopefully I'll shock the world with this one. We're going to talk a little bit about Robeson. Robeson was a American cutlery uh, that's been around for a long, long time. Uh, I didn't, uh, I'll probably post some stuff. I got some articles, but I didn't take any notes. But the main thing everybody needs to know is real Robeson knives were discontinued after 1964 when they closed their plant in New York. So anything, uh, anything with the name Robeson on it after 1964 was a contracted knife by the fa Robeson family to keep the name alive. And they, they contracted a lot of different cutleries, but the most recent in the 90s and the 2000s were Queen and Ontario Knife Company. So that's just a little bit of history there. This is post or uh, pre-1964. This is a true Robeson. It's called a uh, saw cut strawberry bone uh, granddad Barlow. And this one's been through the paces, but uh, you can see it's got some gaps. And the color of the strawberry bone is actually went to a more pinkish tone. If you look at their newer stuff, because they still use this, and they're known for the strawberry bone. Um, if you look at some of the newer stuff, it looks exactly like the color of a strawberry, a deep purplish pink. So... But this is a pretty cool knife. I, I paid twenty dollars for this one. It's a workhorse. There's no half stop on it. Robeson Sure Edge USA, and all their vintage stuff is outrageously priced. Uh, the market's going crazy for Robeson right now, especially the vintage stuff. <laughs> Look at the work on that blade. That patina. Looks like the tip was broke, and they curved it up real quick to make a tip there. And that kind of goes into what I was saying. Don't sharpen your knife too far up, or it's going to peak. See how that one's peaking? And it's a slight snag, but nothing that's going to probably cut you. Uh, centering has kind of moved way to the right on it. But I don't know the exact year, but it's at least, you know, 1964 or earlier. But I really like it. It's a useful tool. I can cut the roots out of the weeds in the lawn with it. Stuff like that. But here's the kicker. I got me a 1995 Robeson Granddad Barlow made by queen and first let's bring the box out it's your roberson sure edge box and right there queen steel stag barlow there is no paperwork in it or anything like that but let's not waste time. Make sure it's nice and shiny. Look at that. Look at that. that yeah, let's see if we got something where we can tip it a little bit this is side one
pretty much flawless with a beautiful white stag. Oh, I love that stag. But now comes the good part. Let's see, side two. Beautiful white stag. And I've always said I prefer the white stag. Um, if I'm going with like a ram's horn or an ox horn, I'd rather have it translucent. But when you're going to uh, do, do a stag with the grooves and everything, I prefer the white, like the puma. And actually, Taylor's Eyewitness does theirs in a, a pure white, too. So let's clean it up and check for some fit and finish. Start with the back. Slight gap up in the front here. No big deal. But all in all, pretty solid. Blades peeking to the right a little bit. And it's not a big deal on these longer blades. And let's see what we finally got. Half stop. Robeson Sure Edge, USA. Massive long clip point. Now, Patty knows I've been in the market for a Queen number three Mountain Man, which is extremely hard to find and extremely expensive. So I'm going to call this my Mountain Man substitute because after price, shipping, and taxes, it was $77 out the door. And if you look around, these are all going for anywhere from 125 to 170 And once again, I got lucky. I was the only bidder. So I got it at the low starting bid. The lowest starting bid was... Uh, Sixty four ninety five, and that's exactly what I paid for it. And of course, shipping and let's get this out of the way a little bit and see what this looks like in the hand. Got a little bit of the shakes. So, does it count as a Barlow and a Mountain Man, right, Patty? Just trying to make a deal with Patty, or I was thinking of trying to make a deal to get his Mountain Man. But what do you think? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Especially, let's make sure it's nice and clean. The bolster engraving is beautiful. This clip point. Check it out. I don't know if that's RCC. I don't know what that means. Robeson Cutlery Company, I guess. Look at that beautiful swedge on there. See my ugly mug in the reflection. Let's put it down with the Barlow Collection. Since I still got that out. And see what that looks like. Get this out of the way. We're going to run over 10 minutes, but that's okay. This one's worth it. Yeah. 
And we're missing two Barlows that are up over there is the frost in the, the marbles, actually three in the vintage uh, Robeson. But here's a little a little good pit picture to go away with. I'm digging it. How about you? Okay. America, have a good day. UK, have a good night. Asia, um, pat your pillow. And everyone, have a good one. Peace out.